what's going on man it's extreme chef pat down here with my boy c bass we're in mexico right now enjoying an amazing week man we've been killing it playing golf atv tours um just going into town meeting crazy people eating some delicious food right now we got a quick little tip for you it's salsa mexicana okay this is the original authentic way to make mexican salsa so we're going to start it off with a nice big juicy tomato. I've already chopped some and diced them up. Uh, this is going to be the quickest way to dice up a tomato. So you want to take out that core with a little knife. Just make a little circle in there. See the core comes out perfect. So right now we're just going to make some slices in there like this. When I was 17, 18, I worked in a Mexican restaurant. My boy Alex Wong, his parents own uh, La Mexicana, Young and Bloor. Uh, and this, his mom, amazing Mexican woman, she uh, taught me how to slice a tomato like this, how they used to do it in their family. She used to watch her mama and make it, man. You know? Got nice and open like that, you know? But you kept it together. And then you just, with the rest of it, just take it off like that. So if you all know, the Mexican flag is three colors. Red, white, and green. So you got the tomato, which is the red. You got the white onion. It's the white. So we need about half an onion. Dice it super fine. You've been watching the vlogs. You know how to properly dice an onion quick way. Got your onion dice, and then the green is the jalapeno. Now, like I like them spicy, so I'm gonna chop it up whole and keep the seeds in there. If you really want, you can de-seed them. Take out most of that heat. You don't want to touch that jalapeno with your fingers, cause. When you gotta go to the washroom and you gotta touch certain areas, man, that heat, it transfers, it sticks to your fingers, it's the worst. Don't touch your eyes, don't play around with your significant other. So, so far, we got the diced tomatoes, we got the chopped white onion, and we got the, slight, the diced jalapeno. The three colors of the Mexican flag. Now, all salsas also should be kicked up by lime. So I'm gonna give it a nice squeeze. Fresh lime juice, whole lime, two limes. Yo, now traditionally, those four ingredients is salsa mexicano, plain and simple. You don't mess around, you don't cut any new tricks, you keep it authentic, and that's the way to have it. Jineteando en mi caballo por la sierra